Welcome back, Professor C here with a, another in-class coding challenge relating to if statements. And this one is the most challenging we've had so far, and it will get you ready for the upcoming tests we got. So what you're going to do is you're going to prompt and convert to appropriate data type the hours that someone worked and their hourly rate. If they work between 1 and 40 hours, and we can assume whole numbers, you're going to take the hours work that they enter times hourly rate, nothing more. If they work between 40 and 60 hours, the first 40 hours are at the regular pay, and whatever they earn between 40 and 60 is at time and a half. If they worked over 65 hours, you would get 40 hours at regular pay, 20 hours at time and a half, and whatever they, whatever they made over 60 hours, whatever hours they worked over 60 hours, they would get double time at. So for example, Dan worked 39 hours at $15. He would get 39 hours times 15 or 585. Notice we don't do any overtime or double time because he's below 40 hours. Joe worked 55 hours at 20. He would get 40 hours at $20 an hour. Anything over 40 hours, he gets 15 hours at $20 times one and a half. So $800 plus 450. Lou worked 65 hours. The first 40 hours are at $35. The hours 41 to 60 would be at uh, time and a half, and anything over, in this example, would be five hours, because he got 20 hours over time, and he's over 65, it would be five hours times double time. So I'll put the regular overtime and double time and try to write the code as efficiently as possible. And here's some sample output. Now I challenge you to try to solve this without looking at the solution. The solution's right here. But come on, don't look, try, pause this, give it your best attempt, and then hit play to see the results. All right, if you just came back, good job for trying. If you did not and you just keep watching the video, come on, you still have one more chance to hit pause. So here's the code. So notice we create name constants at, uh, for 40 hours and one for overtime we call, one we call overtime for 40 hours and one we call double time. Um, 60 and no certain uppercase. So we ask, well actually I did treat it as a float. I didn't take it as an integer. It, previously I might have said with hours worked with integers, but no it's floats because someone can work a half hour. So how many hours do they work? We convert that to a float and put it here. What is their hourly rate? Obviously that needs to be a float because some people are paid like say $14.50 an hour. And we declare and initialize variables a half time at 0, 0, and double time at 0, 0. So look what we do here. If their hours are 40 or less, so we take hours entered times a pay rate and put it here, and we skip the rest and we go down to the output. If they work less than 60 hours, less than or equal 60 hours, the first 40 hours are at the regular pay. Then you take the hours they worked minus the 40 hours and multiply that by 1.5. So for example, Dan made 39 or worked 39 hours. 39 is less than or equal to 40, so he would get regular pay, nothing else. Joe worked 55. 55 is not less than or equal to 40, so we come to here. 55 is less than or equal to 60, so we take 40 hours at the regular pay. 55 minus 40 is 15 hours times their pay rate times uh, one and a half. If I get to here, notice there's no more if else's. If I get to here, we know they work more than 40 and they work more than 60. So we take the first 40 hours at 40, I mean, sorry, the first 40 hours at their pay rate. Then we take 60 hours and subtract 40, which in this case would be 20 times their pay rate of one and a half. And in here, whatever was left over 60 would be here. So for example, 65 hours, 40 hours at regular pay, 20 hours at time and a half. 65 minus 60 is six, so six hours at double time. We add regular, half, and double, and we output to the screen. So let's run the code. Let's do 39 at 15 hours. And you can clearly see this is how we come up with it. So because 39 hours is less than or equal to 40, we have this piece of code fire, these, this right here, and we skip the rest. So it skips from here to here. Let's run it again. 
Let's put in 55 hours at 20. And you can see they get the first uh, 40 hours at regular pay. So uh, 40 times 20 is 800. And then 15 hours at time and a half is 450. No double time. And here's what this person made. And I believe the other example was $65, 65 hours at $35 an hour. And you can see regular pay, time and a half, and double time is figured out.